Welcome back to Triple R Retro Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at The Punisher for the Sega Genesis. This game was released for the Genesis November 15th, 1994. It's a one or two player co-op game. So let's talk about the presentation. So the game gives some backstory of The Punisher on these like rolling text here. You have The Punisher in the background. When the text rolls over the screen, telling you what happened to his family and why he's on this revenge mission. So when you start the game, you can pick either the Punisher or you can pick Nick Fury. I'm pretty sure they chose Nick Fury as the other playable character due to the fact that he has no superpowers and relies on firearms. So Punisher, Nick Fury, they're in Marvel, but they don't have any superpowers. So the graphics of the game look pretty good. The sprites are a bit smaller than like Final Fight. Uh, the characters are a good size though, it fits the game just fine. The backgrounds don't look as good as maybe they could have. Everything is a little bit on the darker side. Maybe that was a choice due to the Punisher's kind of grim backstory to keep that darker feel overall, maybe. In any case, I don't think it was the best choice and it's a minor drawback of the game overall. Uh, the sounds in the game are standard for a beat-em-up. You have your um, punches and kicks, and jump grunts, and you know when people get hit. Um, one of the standouts of the sounds are how the guns sound along with the blam effect. It really adds to the game. So, when you shoot a gun, you'll see a little blam, kind of like the old Batman TV series. So it'll be a little comic book blam, I guess. It won't be full screen. But you see a comic blam, and then he'll be firing his pistol, among other stuff. So the gameplay, the gameplay in this game, it's your standard Final Fight Streets of Rage formula. You walk to the right, fight bad guys, pick up random stuff from barrels and plants, you can pick up stuff like that. <laughs> you can also pick up the enemies. Uh, in this game, firearms and weapons are much more common and accessible than other beat-em-ups. Like say in Final Fight, you'll find like a pipe or like the knife guy will drop his knife. Uh, I know Cody can carry it, but like usually it's a one and done. Uh, if you drop it, you're gonna might be a little while before you pick up another like 2x4 or the pipe. Uh, this game, like I said, they're way more common. Punches, kicks, and throws. Uh, you'll be firing your pistol, using knives, axes, SMGs, uh, flamethrower, tank <laughs> kind of weapon. Uh, the axe to me kind of is a standout because it doesn't quite fit. I don't know, maybe because it's in the city, maybe there's like a medieval museum. Somewhere close and the guy, <laughs> these bad guys got a bunch of like medieval axes out. I don't know. They look kind of funny to me. But all these weapons help set it apart from other side scrollers. It kind of adds to like the plane as a punisher when you're shooting the guns, shooting up the bad guys. And eventually you come to a stage boss. It's kind of rinse and repeat like all side scroller beat em ups. Get to the boss, beat him, clear the stage. And at the end of this game, you'll face off with the Kingpin himself. So if you're a fan of beat em ups, I think you'll like the Punisher. I would give this game probably a, I don't know, 7.5 out of 10. There's, uh, the way the character sprites are a little bit smaller and stuff, I think Final Fight plays overall better, and Street Rage maybe as well. But it's cool to have the Marvel like Punisher in the game doing the beat-ups, and the, the weapons do add a lot to it. But I'm going to say 7.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.